Okay, now I'm moving on to page 11. This is procedure B, number three. It says, as you observe the snail, suggest structures and behaviors that might protect it from predators. So if I'm a predator, what's it doing to protect itself, right? Pulling itself back into its shell. What does it have? What structures does it have that allow it to interact with its environment, sort of check things out around it? Put it on this background, too. Ooh. Turn your exposure down. It's got these antenna. It's got its foot. can probably feel things, right? Uh, what about, what do you think it's got that'll help it get food? Any ideas? If you want a hint, I will show you. Not only does it have these antennae type structures to help maybe sense where things are, maybe even taste where things are. If I turn it upside down, you'll see right up here there's a little mouth called, and a structure inside called a radula. It's like, almost like a little tongue that can help it get food. Sometimes you'll actually, if you watch the head, you can see that mouth open. Of course, now it won't do it, right? Open your mouth. Right there. And then protect it from the elements. What do you think it's got to help protect it from the elements? Plus, you can see there's this slime trail it's leaving behind, too. You can think about what's, what, what role is the slime play for a snail. Okay?